<laughs> oh, it's late. I have to go. Goodbye. Are you serious right now? Goodbye sounds very formal and is usually used when you will never meet the person again. Oh, really? Yes, you can say later, laters or catch you later. This is a slang way to say see you later. You can say I gotta hit the road, I gotta take off, I gotta dip. You can also say I'm off, take care, see you later. Can I just say bye? Yes, this is a standard way to say goodbye in English. Hey sweetie, can you explain to me what these strange acronyms mean? Sure, Grandma, let me see. NGL. NGL stands for not gonna lie. It's just a way for people to be honest about something. Oh, I see. And what about SMH? SMH stands for shaking my head. It's usually used when someone hears something that they think is ridiculous or unbelievable. Hmm, that makes sense. And TBF? TBF stands for to be fair. And what about WDYM? WDYM is used to replace what do you mean when you're trying to clarify something. Thanks for helping me out, sweetie. Are you ready? We're getting late. Yes, I'm ready. Do you like my dress? Oh, that's nice. But I'm afraid this dress is too fancy for the party. Please, go get changed. Okay, wait a minute. What about this one? Is it better? Well, not really. Your fit is too casual. Try something a little more elegant. Sure, I'll be right back. Okay, what do you think about this suit? Oh, I'm sorry, but this suit is too formal. <sighs> Try something more casual, but also elegant. Okay, wait. Is it better now? Oh, this dress is the perfect fit for the party. Thank you. Let's go. Wait. Hello, where are you flying to today? Hi, I'm flying to New York. May I have your passport, please? Yes, of course. Here you go. Do you have any check bags? Yes, I have a suitcase. Okay, place your baggage over here. And I want to take this bag with me on the airplane. Okay, you can take your carry-on bag with you. Can I use my laptop in the airplane? Yes, you may use your laptop on board, except during takeoff and landing. Okay, here's your boarding pass. Thank you. Where should I go now? You should go to the gate 17B in the lounge area. And what time can I get on the airplane? The boarding will start at 10.30. Please be at the gate 30 minutes before your scheduled flight. Thank you. Have a nice flight. Would you like to have a piece of cake? Yes, please. Here you go. This cake is 10 out of 10. But I don't have 10 cakes. I have only one. No, no, I mean, I can't get enough of this cake. You want more? Eat this one first and I'll give you another one. I'm saying this cake really hits the spot. The spot? Where is the spot? She's saying the cake is very good. It tastes amazing. It's exactly what she needed. Here's your coffee. Thank you. Oh god, I'm so sorry. No, no, I'm genuinely sorry. I should have been more careful. I was the one not being careful. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have been so clumsy. I'm sorry. Please, accept my apologies. No, no, I really want to apologize for that. Can you please speed up the apologizing? Ladies, can't you see you're holding up the line? We're, We're terribly, terribly sorry. sorry. Hi, what can I get started for you? Hi, I'll just do a vanilla latte. Yeah, for sure. Do you have coconut milk? We have oat and almond as our milk alternatives. I'll take oat milk. Would you like that for here or to go? I'll take it to go, please. Fantastic. Would you like a pastry to go with your latte today? Oh, not today. We have a flavorful chocolate cake. No, I'm good, thanks. So we have a white cream cake. This cake is filled with a cream cheese filling. I will pass today. A honey cake? 
Maybe next time. What about a vanilla cupcake with a blueberry filling? Hey, do you know what a mole is? Yeah, it's a small animal that lives underground. No, not that kind of mole. I'm talking about the unit of measurement in chemistry. Oh, you mean the amount of a substance? Exactly. And do you know what a mole is on your skin? Um, is it a type of a small dark spot like this? Yeah, that's right. But there is one more kind of mole I'm thinking of. What is it? It's a person who works inside an organization and gives secret information to another organization or a country. Oh, I see. I always thought a mole was just a small animal. Thanks for clearing that up. Could you tell me a little bit about your previous work experience? Yeah, I've had a lot of jobs, but I usually get fired pretty quickly. Oh, honestly, I don't like to follow rules or work too hard. Why do you want to work for our company? Honestly, I need job because I need money. I don't really care what it is or where it is. In my previous position, I was responsible for developing and implementing new marketing strategies. And I was able to achieve a significant increase in sales for the company. That's impressive. Why do you want to work for our company? I've been following your company for a while now and I'm impressed by the innovative products and services you offer. I believe that my skills and experience align well with the company's mission and values. Hi, come in. Hi. You look so scared. Are you okay? There is a strange man over there. What? When I walked to your place, suddenly I heard a strange noise behind. No, no, no. You should say, I was walking instead of I walked because the action was continuous. Okay, I was walking. When I was walking, I looked back. There was a man following me. I started walking faster and faster. Then I started running and he ran after me. Oh, it's not correct to say he ran after me. It's correct to say he ran after me. Can you please stop correcting me? He's here. Are you hearing that? We should call the police. It's not correct to say, are you hearing that? You should say, do you hear that? Okay, you're ready? Mm -hmm. So, if you think that you're more beautiful than everyone else, then you are... Miley Cyrus? No, they think that they're really important and they need a lot of attention from others. Mm, children. No, if you think that you're better than everyone else, then you are... Giga Chad. Okay, pass. Oh, it's a person who is addicted to work. A weirdo. No, they like to work long hours and they feel like they can't stop working. My mom? Okay, pass. Okay, this one's easy. A very lazy person. They don't like working or doing things. A lazy bone. Good try. They often procrastinate and find excuses. It's me? Almost there. A slacker. Exactly. Could you make a carrot cake for me? I'm afraid I can't. We have few carrots left. Well, can you make an orange juice then? Let me see. Yes, we have a few oranges. I'll make an orange juice for you. Hmm, a few oranges are enough, but few carrots are not enough. Yes, a few oranges means we have enough oranges. There are not many, but enough. But if we say few carrots, that means there are not enough. Excuse me, ma'am, I have a question. Yes, how can I help you? I'm looking for the toilet. You mean the lavatory, miss? <laughs> the bathroom? Yes, the bathroom. I cannot find it. It's just down the aisle to your left. Thank you. Is everything okay, miss? No, the bathroom is very small and there is no bath in it. In the US, this small room is called a bathroom because there is a sink where you can wash your hands. Thank you for clearing that up. And there is one more problem. There is no paper. You mean there is no toilet paper? Yes. I'm sorry about that. I'll make sure to bring you some extra rolls. Thank you. Here you go. 
Is there anything else I can do to make your flight more comfortable? No, that's all. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a video call with a guy. He's from United States. Wow. Please keep it down, okay? Sure. Hi, how is it going? Uh, seems like we lost connection. No, tell him your signal is weak. I'm sorry, your signal is weak. Oh wait, now you are not moving on my screen. Try saying your image is stuck. Sorry, your image is stuck. Hold on, I see your video, then I hear your voice after a moment. Just say it's out of sync. Sorry, it's out of sync. Oh, your voice is going away now. Tell him I can't hear your voice. <laughs> Yesterday, before my boyfriend woke up, I prepared a delicious breakfast. You had prepared it before your boyfriend woke up. Yeah, before we finished eating, he gave me beautiful flowers. He had given you the flowers. Okay, we played a very funny board game before my mom came. Had played. It's past perfect. Oh, I totally messed up the tenses. No worries, the past perfect is used when you want to show that something happened before another past event. Look, you had played a board game before your mother came. It's like a timeline. Oh, I got it. So the past perfect is all about what came first, like a flashback before the main story. Absolutely. Cosmetic for sale. Excuse me, ma'am, would you like to buy something? Oh no, thank you. I'm strapped for cash. You can pay in cash. We accept cash. Nah, I'm saying I'm broke. Broke as a joke. A joke? <laughs> nice joke. I said I'm tapped out. Tapped out? I'm totally skinned. Skin, skin. We have good stuff for your skin. It's premium quality. I'm flat broke. Flat broke? I said I'm out of money. Oh, then I have a very good offer for you. Cosmetics for sale. Earth is flat. Didn't you know that? I think you're wrong. Did you know that cats can see in complete darkness? No, you're wrong. This t-shirt doesn't fit you well. You're wrong. Don't always say you're wrong. That might sound offensive. Use these phrases instead. I don't think that's correct. That's not quite right. I see it differently. Actually, the information I have is different. Could you clarify where you got that information from? Sorry, I'm not sure that's correct. Hi, what floor are you headed to? Oh, I'm heading to the first floor. The first floor? You mean the ground floor, right? No, no, the first floor is the floor above the ground floor. Man, it's so confusing. In America, we just call it a ground floor. Well, we like to keep things a bit more complicated. That's weird. And what about an elevator? What do you call it? We call it a lift. Okay, what about this one? What do you call it? We call it a biscuit. What? But biscuits are those fluffy round breads we eat for breakfast. Mmm, <laughs> these french fries are so good. You mean chips? No, I mean french fries. These pieces of fried potatoes are chips. Are you kidding me? Chips are what you call crisps. No, no, these are chips. You Brits have it all mixed up. Crisps, chips, same thing. But fries are not chips and chips are not fries. Okay, what about this one? What do you call it? It's an aubergine. But it's an eggplant. Well, what about a zucchini? What do you call it? We call it a courgette. <gasps> Tell me about yourself. I'm really good at playing video games and I love taking a nap during the day. I don't have much experience, but I'm a fast learner. I'm a recent graduate with a degree in marketing and have gained experience in various internships. I'm a hardworking and dedicated individual with excellent communication and teamwork skills. 
Can you tell me about your weaknesses? Well, I don't have any weaknesses. I'm perfect. One of my weaknesses is that I spend too much time focusing on small details and can struggle to see the bigger picture. Why do you want this job? I'm going through a tough time right now. I have the skills and qualifications necessary for this role, as well as a desire to contribute to the company's success. I can't believe we're already at 30,000 feet. Oh yeah, it's so exciting. Not really. I feel a fear. It's hard to breathe and my heart is beating so fast. It looks like you're having a panic attack. Drink some water. Take a deep breath. Is everything okay, miss? No, she's having a panic attack because she feels like the plane's gonna crash. Don't worry, miss. We have the most skilled and highly trained professionals in charge of getting us safely to our destination. Yeah, I guess you are right. I'm feeling a little better now. Yeah, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Knock on wood. What do you mean? It's an idiom that means to hope that something doesn't happen by knocking on wood or touching wood. Oh, I see. Thanks for teaching me English. No problem. Let's make breakfast. Okay. First, you need to take off the lid. Yeah, take off the lid. This is Greek yogurt. Then take a spoon and scoop some yogurt out. Yeah, scoop it out. Put it in the plate. These are strawberries. I'm going to slice off the stems. Yeah, I'm gonna slice off the stems. Cut up the berries and put them in the plate. Great! What's next? Now I'm gonna put a of blueberries. You're gonna put a handful of blueberries and a few raspberries. Then I have some seeds. I'll Sprinkle. Yeah, I'll sprinkle some seeds. Mmm, 